Two years ago this month, Dusty Hill played his last show with ZZ Top on July 18, 2021 at the Iroquois Amphitheater in Louisville, Kentucky. His final show with the band was only the third date of the band's ongoing tour, which was scheduled to run through May of 2022. That show marked the end of one of the single most enduring lineups in the history of rock and roll. Billy Gibbons, Frank Beard, and Dusty Hill had remained rock solid for over 50 years. So after the July 18, 2021 show, the band ended up canceling one show. Then they played their next one on July 23rd at the Village Commons in New Lenox, Illinois. Billy Gibbons and Frank Beard announced in a statement that Dusty was on a short detour back to Texas to address a hip issue, but that per Dusty's request, the show must go on. So, enter ZZ Top's longtime guitar tech, Elwood Francis, to fill in some of the dates for Dusty on bass until he was well enough to return. Five days later, Dusty Hill would pass away at his home in Houston. Now, old Elwood had some pretty big boots to fill. Billy and Frank had decided that it wasn't time to retire from performing live just yet and figured that if they did, Dusty might find a way to get down there and give them both a swift kick in the ass. So Elwood Francis jumped in head and ears and became the bass player for ZZ Top. After over 50 years, ZZ Top had a new member on stage. So here we are two years later and it sure seems that Elwood has won over the hearts of ZZ Top fans. And so the band is still out there, still making music. For Elwood, taking over on the stage where Dusty had performed for so many years wasn't an easy task. And there was a lot more to this than just learning songs and arrangements. But it seems Elwood has handled it all very well. Billy says, Elwood is solid. Having been with us for so many years, we really didn't have to tell him, look out for the tricky part that comes just after the course, because that kind of thing is ingrained in his sonic consciousness. What's still amazing is that he grew his beard during the depths of the lockdown. He's kind of got the look, and that's just by happenstance. Elwood is actually a very talented musician. Yes, that's right, guitar techs know more about a guitar than just its anatomy. For those that think this was the first time Elwood played a bass guitar, you better think again. And besides playing six string guitar, he can also play harmonica and lap steel. But if anyone saw the show where Elwood debuted the 17 string bass, this just might have been a first for him playing that instrument. It started out as kind of a joke, but in the world of ZZ Top, that can be a place where a joke becomes reality. Elwood told the story in an interview with Ultimate Classic Rock this way. He said, I was doing night internet searching and turned up a picture of this crazy 17-string bass. I sent a picture of it to Billy and we laughed about it and made some jokes about actually trying to use it. A few weeks later, after I'd forgotten about it, Billy showed up with this 17-string bass. Elwood said, it was one of them hold my beer moments. There's a lot more to this story in the origin of the guitar. I'm going to leave a link in the comments section to the Ultimate Classic Rock page. It has the whole story on there. The band is coming out with a new album pretty soon. Some of the tracks were recorded before Dusty passed away, and he will be on the album along with Elwood. Billy did say that Dusty had laid down some vocal tracks, and I'm guessing we may even get some songs with Dusty singing the lead vocals on this album also. I'm really looking forward to the album. I'm also a really big fan of early ZZ Top. To me, it doesn't get much better than Trace Hombres or Fandango. 
How about y'all? Got a favorite ZZ Top song or album? Let me know in the comments section. It was quite a trip having Elwood step in to help keep the ball rolling, Billy says. He's adding a great deal of enthusiasm. When I see Frank smiling for the first time in 30 years, I know something good's going on. I'd say that was pretty well said. Billy and Frank are still enjoying themselves playing, so why should they retire, as I've heard some people suggest? They have a blast on stage every show, and it shows and projects right out to the audience, just as it has for the last 50 or so years. In my opinion, they aren't moving on from Dusty. They're keeping his memory alive, and Elwood's a big part of that. Some fans, I'm sure, were a bit skeptical at first, as they should have been. But it didn't take Elwood long to put them at ease and keep the show going. His bass playing is working in just fine. His playing style and even his tone's a bit different than Dusty, but it still fits in nicely with the ZZ Top sound. And Elwood himself just fits in with his fellow bandmates. There's a chemistry there, and as I said, it projects right off that stage to the audience. As most of you know, I've done videos on Elwood, Billy, and Dusty. I should get around to Frank someday in the near future. So if you get a chance, do a little searching on the channel and check them out. How time flies. It's been two years since Dusty passed away and Elwood stepped in. I, for one, am really happy to see ZZ Top still out there. So count me in as one who's very thankful to Elwood Francis for having the talent and balls to step out on stage right and help keep ZZ Top and the memory of Dusty Hill alive. Again, I'll leave the last words to the Reverend Willie G. It was an unexpected reality that landed not only in my lap, but allowed me to hunker down and get serious with Mr. Beard. And we both agreed that as an honor to the legacy of the band, we felt it would be more suitable to try to pick up sticks and carry on rather than just throw in the towel. So wherever Dusty may be, he's probably smiling down, just knowing that all the notes are in place and that the fierceness rolls on. <laughs>